Christmas is getting closer. Hello, my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is on Gallery E-Liquid. Okay, so I know I said I probably wasn't gonna sit by my tree again because the lighting really sucks, but it's too festive not to. So I have five of their flavors here today. They do have six flavors, but I believe the sixth one is the newest one and they sent me these before that one came out. So the five flavors I have here are Fresh Prince, Bon Vivant, Delirium, Farmer's Daughter, and Penthouse. These are all 70 30 blends being max VG. These are in three milligrams, which is my personal vaping preference, and you can get them in zero, three, six milligrams. Now it's $19.99 for these 30 mil bottles or $59.99 for a 120 milliliter bottle. So let's just get right into it. And I grabbed uh, this one, which is Fresh Prince. Here is the label art, very nice. I love these fancy square bottles. Today I'm trying them on my 510 dripping atomizer. It is a super simple setup for people who do not want to build or don't know how to build. Two test flavors, you just put a few drops of the e-liquid in there and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. So this one is supposed to be Fruit Loops. Ooh, it smells really freaking good. I'm excited. You guys know me, I love fruity cereal vapes. Ooh. This is not that bad. I do get a lot of lemon from this vape. It's not too overpowering. I'd have to say that in my time of trying so many different cereal vapes, I probably wouldn't pick this one first. But it's pretty sweet, but I'm getting a lot of lemon flavor from it. Next, I am trying Bon Vivant. There's the label art for that. And this is a tropical fruit blend with uh, hints of pineapple. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like pineapple. I love pineapple vapes. Ooh, that's really tart pineapple with like an undertone of sugary, maybe some cream. Ooh, I like this one a lot better than the first one. This, I love tropical drinks though. It's one of like one of my top fruity vape pro flavor profiles. But I'm just getting like straight up pineapple, maybe some cherry in there. There seems to be like maybe a different flavor in there, but mainly pineapple. No, you know what? I'm tasting orange, something like that. Maybe like a guava. Mmm, but it is actually freaking good. Makes me want to eat fresh pineapple. Next, we are trying Delirium. Check out this crazy label art. I mean, what is that thing? An elephant on stilts? And this one seems kind of similar. This is a, it's supposed to be like a famous Hawaiian drink called Pog or P-O-G, I don't know. Ooh, oh, it smells so sweet. Man, I really like the smell of this one. It smells almost candied-like. Ooh, this almost kind of tastes like like um, a cereal vape, but it's supposed to be a beverage. I'm not exactly sure what the beverage consists of, but it's really tropical and it's really sweet. Almost tastes like fruit by the foot, like fruit snack gummy candy, and I really like it. Mmm. Okay, this one is my favorite by far out of the ones I've tried so far. Next, I am trying Farmer's Daughter, and this one is Peaches and Cream. Ooh, oh, that smells so good too. I hope, smells are misleading though, because I smell some e-liquid and it smells great, and then I vape it and it's not great. So hopefully this one's great. Oh my god, it's like these keep getting better and better. Like the first one I was like, eh, and then better, and then better, and then this one's even better. Even though they're different flavor profiles, they, the flavor seems to be getting better. This one is super good. Mmm, that's like a candy peach, like a gummy peach with an undertone of cream, but it's actually, there's quite a bit of cream in it. Mmm, oh my god, I can get down on this one. This is so freaking good. Two thumbs up for the farmer's daughter flavor. And last but not least, we have Penthouse. Look at this scandalous label art. 
two naked chicks and this one compared to the other ones this one has a flavor profile that is like huge so let me let me tell you it's aged in Kentucky oak bourbon barrels sweet and salty caramel treat notes of vanilla bourbon and custard Wow. So there's a lot of flavors in this e-liquid compared to the other ones that were more basic, like just mainline flavors. Ooh. It smells definitely like salted caramel, but it also smells of bourbon, and I don't really care for alcohol type flavored vapes, but maybe the caramel and vanilla in there will swayed my personal opinion. But taste is subjective, so what I may like or not like, you may like or not like. <laughs> so it's just like, if we have matching flavor profiles, then these videos are probably really helpful for you. But if we don't, I don't know why you watched. <laughs> just kidding, keep watching. Oh, that's not too bad. The caramel is definitely on the forefront and I'm not getting overwhelmed with the bourbon-y flavor. Ooh, uh, this one is good too. Is that the last one? <gasps> That's the last one, and it's probably my most favorite. Okay, I really like the peach flavor for a fruit pla flavor profile, but I'm really liking this for like a sweet candy. Like this is, it tastes like salted caramel, with like a little bit of like a creamy vanilla undertone, but mainly just caramel. Ooh, you know what's really funny? I do not like salted caramel treats in real life. Like, I don't like that. It's, most of the ones that I've tried are just too salty. But this, I, oh, <laughs> the drifted fell off. The O-ring on it's getting actually pretty weak because I've used it for so long. Wow, I definitely like this one the most. It is so yummy and sweet flavored. So this gets like, Kind of like half and half, like I half really like the two flavors there, but then like the first one, I did not really enjoy it. But so I'm like okay with some of the flavors, but the ones that I did like, they're really good and they get a thumbs up, those specific flavors. I will put a link below to this e-liquid if you're interested in checking it out. If you've tried it yourself, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it, if you liked it or if you didn't like it, because taste is subjective and I like to hear what you guys have to say, because I'm only one person. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page and I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos that aren't vaping related so if you want to see more of me you can check out that channel as well. All those links will be below and one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. Like honestly, I was like, kind of like uh, about the penthouse label art because it's straight up naked ladies, and it's just like why do why do you gotta why you gotta do that why you gotta put that on your bottle? But then that ends up being my favorite flavor of the bunch.